Welcome to NetSuite's Suite Success demonstration for service companies. In this video, we will demonstrate the use of the Project Manager dashboard by navigating through project setup and viewing project delivery metrics. In this demonstration, I'm going to take on the role of a project manager within a services company. My Project Manager dashboard is specifically designed to provide me with all the information I need about my projects. I can use the Reminders portlet to notify me of approvals I need to address. I can also use my project KPI portlets and meters to give me the overall status of my projects. My project portlet allows me to see all my projects by status. I typically start my day here, looking at any projects that are newly awarded. Since these projects have been recently awarded, I'll need to make sure the appropriate template has been used. Let's go into a project that was recently awarded so we can get this project up and running. Once I am in the project, I can see the information that was populated by the project template. The template automatically pulls in tasks, milestones, generic resources, and billing information. First thing I'll do is mark this project as in progress, since I am going to start assigning some resources, and the start date is this week. All of my tasks are populated from the template to include the amount of planned work and remaining work, which will update as my resources start entering time against these tasks. To get a different look at these tasks, I change my view to Assignees, which is currently populated with generic resources. Generic resources have been included in my template, and they act as placeholders that tell me what kind of resources we need for this project. While this project template includes the majority of our tasks needed, we have identified that this client requested one day of on-site training after Go Live. For this, I will go ahead and add a new task. I will enter a name for my task and put this as a predecessor task to phase two. We plan to be on site for one day, so I will put planned work as eight hours and choose the generic resources we need for this on site. Now that we have looked at our tasks and resources that came over from our project template, let's also take a look at the billing rules that were applied from our project template. Billing rules automatically notify accounting with accurate invoice amounts and when to bill clients. For these implementation projects, we bill our clients for time and expenses with one fixed invoice at project kickoff. Our invoice at kickoff of the project is under our fixed fee rule tab. We can see that we invoice our customers $5,000 at the beginning of the project. Then under our time-based rule tab, we've included the billing rule that will capture all resources billable and approved time to this project. And lastly, under our expense-based rule tab, we have a rule that will capture all entered and approved expenses input against this project. Now that I am done confirming all the information that was brought in through my template, I can save this project. I'll be able to monitor the progress of this project through my home dashboard and through NetSuite's out-of-the-box reporting. Let's take a quick look at our project profitability report to see an example of the reports we will use to track this project. I use this report to monitor the overall profitability of my projects and then collapse, expand, and drill into this report for further review of any time and expenses submitted against each project. This report remains in real time as hours and expenses are entered and approved. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.